All right, man. Uh, season starts today. Uh, Bucks Cowboys. You know, later tonight. Uh, I've been asked to go over. You know, win loss, win loss for the Saints this year. I tried. I tried so hard not to make us seventeen and zero. So let's just skip that part. All right. I got us just winning all seventeen games. All right. That's it. But nah. Let me. I tried to put my biases aside and attempted. You know, to pick. A 17-game season where, you know, we win a, win, win a couple, lose a couple. And let's just start off with Green Bay. I know it's going to suck, but <clears throat> I have us starting off the season with a loss to Green Bay. Uh, you know, in the range of 30 to 27, I think it'll be a close game, but I think we lose that one. Uh, just Aaron Rodgers with something to prove. Devontae Adams with something to prove. Both, you know, maybe in their last year they deals. So I think that's going to be a tough one, especially, you know, with us being away from home, playing in Jacksonville. So I think we'll start the season with a loss right there. Moving on to Carolina, I think that's going to be a win. Uh, Sam Darnold doesn't put fear in my heart. I think we'll easily take care of them. You know, they'll put us <clears throat> one and one on the year. Next up, New England. Even though rookie quarterbacks scared me with the Saints, because if you know us and rookie quarterbacks from RG3 to even Jalen Hurts last year, like, we just, for some reason, can't you know can't get it right when we play rookie quarterbacks. But I do think we'll pull that one out against New England uh, at home against the Giants. That doesn't scare me. Like I said, Daniel Jones, another quarterback that doesn't put fear in my heart. I think we'll uh, you know beat them fairly easy. Probably a blowout. Honestly, probably be our first blowout win of the year. Probably you know 31-13 somewhere in there. Then I have a a, a loss at Washington. Um, I just think, you know, right before the bye week, you know, the Saints always lose a game that we probably shouldn't lose. I think Washington will be that game this year. I think we'll lose, you know, in a defensive struggle against them. 14, 13 games, somewhere in that range. Then the bye week happens and uh, hopefully get MT back. Hopefully if the NFL decides to suspend anybody, they all came back and things like that. So I think after the bye week, that's almost a guaranteed win for us. And it's primetime ESPN. It's going to be hard for the Saints to lose that one. Uh, I'm assuming that's a, a Monday night game. Yeah, Monday night game. I see the Monday. But, yeah, Monday night game, prime time against Seattle. I think we take care of business there on the road. We beat Seattle. All right, please don't shoot the messenger for week eight. But I think coming off, you know, that that, that win in Seattle, at home against the Bucks, short week of rest, I think we lose that game against Tampa. Please, I didn't want to pick it. I, I Trust me, I didn't want to pick it. But I do think we lose that first game against Tampa, uh, which will give us our third loss on the year. Then back home against Atlanta, we'll beat Atlanta. Uh, we're sweeping them this year, so <clears throat> no worries on that. Then we move to Tennessee. At Tennessee, I mean Julio, A.J. Brown, Derrick Henry. You can kind of see where this is going. I think we lose that game against Tennessee. Uh, I think that's just going to be a tough road game. I think that's going to be probably our worst play game of the year. Not going to lie. Just have us losing about 21, maybe to, you know, 34, somewhere like that. Then I said we go to at Philly. We'll get our revenge on Philly from last year. We'll beat them, you know, in Philadelphia. I don't even think Hurts will be the starting quarterback by then. I think they'll probably have Minshew out there because obviously they don't, you know, they don't believe in Hurts. Hurts, I almost said Hurts. They don't believe in Jalen Hurts, you know. So I don't think he'll be the quarterback by then. And if Minshew's out there, I have no worries. I think they'll be in tank mode by week 11 because their team is just not not good at all. Uh, Buffalo, have us losing that game. Uh, I mean, just the Bills. Josh Allen's my MVP pick this year. I think the Bills will be a real, real good team. You know, this year, uh, defense is outstanding. Offense is pretty good. Uh, I'm going to hate to see Diggs back. Well, not back in the Superdome, but I hate to see Diggs against the, the Saints again. But, hey, man. Then we got Dallas. We're not losing to Dallas. Uh, Thursday game is that. Just a Thursday game? Oh, yeah, Thursday game against Dallas. Um, not losing that. I'm assuming that Buffalo game is Thanksgiving. I also have us losing that Buffalo game because look at the dates. November 21st against Philly. Then we have to play November 25th against Buffalo. That's kind of messed up. That's why. That's another reason I have us losing that Buffalo game. Uh, against Dallas on a Thursday, that's a, that's a win. You can wrap that up. The Jets the next Sunday. That's a win. You can wrap that up. Zach Wilson, rookie quarterback. Even though rookie quarterback scared me, this is later in the season. I think we'll have it under wraps by then. Uh, then Tampa Bay, on the road, I think we beat them. So it's kind of weird. I have us splitting with Tampa Bay, but I have both teams winning on the road. And I think that's going to be a huge game for uh, playoff implications. And 
maybe first round buy implications and things like that. So that'll be a huge, huge game, and I have us winning that one on the road against Miami. Don't scare me. Uh, I think we'll be we'll be Miami fairly easily. Then these last two games in division games, I think both of these teams will be tanking out the playoffs. I think we beat Carolina, we beat Atlanta, uh, which I think will be you know put us a pretty good season. I think that gives us a 12 and five. Uh, lost to Green Bay, lost to Washington, lost to Tampa, lost to Tennessee. And lost to Buffalo. Yeah, five losses. I think that's twelve and five on the year. Hopefully, that's good enough to get us a first round bye, man. Uh, I know some of you may not like that. I you know, have that loss of Tampa in there. But if you think different, let me know your uh, your thoughts below on what you think we'll finish this year. I think twelve and twelve and five is is very realistic for us. I think at worst we finish twelve and seven because I can see us losing to like New England just because maybe Seattle. Maybe split with a uh, Carolina or Atlanta or something like that. So I can see us losing a couple more, you know, at worst. So at worst, I see us going 10 and 7. At best, I can see us going 13 and 4, you know, uh, if I'm getting crazy, 14 and 3. But I have us somewhere in the middle at 12 and 5, man. Let me know what y'all think the record would be down below. If you like this video, man, hit that like button for me, man. Subscribe to the channel. It's the Boot Tragedies. I have much more, much more content coming out. Later this year, later this week, and man, who that? It's, it's time for the Super Bowl run, man. Season starts today. Get with it. Also, I dropped the fantasy link uh, in the community tab, so if you want to join that fantasy team, get at us in there. Uh, I have a 10-team league. If I have to make it bigger, I'll, I'll go to 12, uh, and I'll try to keep it there. But the draft's at 5 p.m. Central Time tonight, so if you want to join that, you can do that. It's the Boot Tragedies, and I'm out.